Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to create shared element transitions in Flutter. If you are an Android developer, you may be familiar with the transitions, these kind of transitions. So I will be showing you a, a demo of the app that we are going to build. Here we have two screens, one is the home screen, other one is detail screen. So when you click show image, the image will expand to a bigger image showing the transition. Okay, as usual I will be starting with an empty template and I am going to add the add an image. I have an image in my resources so I'll be adding that and uh, I'll be adding let's give some width as 200 and height also 200 okay hot reload you see the image let's align that a uh, let's give some padding and align it to the center of the container okay all good now I'm going to add some spacing just below the image that will be a sized box with a height of 30 and another button that is an outline button which is going to say show full image and uh, with a padding of 20 and on trust we are going to open the detail screen so we'll write a function go to detail screen with a context parameter all right that will take the build context okay so that's a ui right now now i'm going to create a new image new screen details dot dot and the co i will copy the whole from home screen to detail screen and remove the unnecessary i'm going to remove the title bar uh, we don't need a title here but let's set it to details and rename the class name to detail screen and the state to details screen state okay Let's re replace that everywhere. Okay. All good. Now let's go back to the home screen and open, import the detail screen and let's write the go to details function to open the detail screen. So that will be navigator dot push with the context and the route. The route will be a new material route. Um, I'm going to make it a full screen dialog. And the builder will take the context and it will return the new detail screen let's format that a little bit okay let's go back uh, to the detail screen and remove the whole body and add the child with the which is a padding with a padding of 40 and stack as the child of the padding with an alignment to bottom center and group of children that will be the same I'm going to copy that from the home screen the whole image with the button and let's rename the entrance of the second screen with pop okay rename size box outline outline let's change to a close icon okay let's go back uh, to the ui click on the show image there you see the close okay now we don't see any animation there right it's just opening the dialog so let's make the animation i'm going to give some color to the container of the home screen so there it is now let's make the image to an oval image clip clip it to oval so let's copy the image and give us a child of the oval okay that's good now uh, let's add another widget hero which is called hero and take the whole clip oval and give the child as a uh, here we will see some error because we forgot to add the tag for the hero widget so don't forget to add the tag i'm going to give it as image one there that is working and let's go back to the detail screen and do the same I'm going to add the same hero widget and copy the image there and give the same tag don't forget to give the same tag if you want to image animate the corresponding images all right so when you click show image you see that it's the smaller image is animated to the bigger image right so that's called a shared element transition now let's make the image a little more bigger okay so now it's clearly visible all right 
cool okay let's uh, style the button little bit let's make the text to white so that it will be same as the demo I shown okay cool so it's working perfectly all right hope you enjoyed the video if you do please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video thanks for watching